Hello everyone and in this video we will be looking at how to import products from your uh, dropshipping portal uh, to your Shopify account. So let's start. Okay, so I'm on my Shopify uh, backend right now uh, on my dashboard and I'm using Big Buy as my dropshipper. Uh, you need to make some changes over here before importing the products from uh, Big Buy. So all the way go over to apps and click on apps is channel settings. Over here click on developer apps and I have uh, one custom app which you can create uh, by clicking on this create an app. So click on this Big Buy app and uh, click on configuration tab. Here are the, uh, the API's access scope which I have already configured so you need to edit it and here we need to edit three settings uh, which are the first one is inventory make sure these both are on the right to, uh, these both are checked uh, in your case it may be read inventory only so this can prevent uh, dropshipper from overwriting your uh, uh, already accessing uh, the items the products on your Shopify store uh, in my case they both are checked so they can write and read uh, in the in the process of uh, synchronization the other one is uh, product search for product and you will come across with product listing and product and product itself make sure both of these are on write and read access for the products so just leave them on go to your products sorry and these are the products which uh, you have uh, sync from your big buy store and even you can check the latest one by uh, clicking over to the created new first and you can see this some uh, some of them are on the draft uh, status so this can be changed uh, later to active draft means that they are not displayed on your current uh, Shopify store so you need to make changes and uh, that's what I'm uh, that's what, what what was my point is that you need to sync it make a draft make a copy of it and then yeah, make changes and put it in action so let's go to the drop shipping portal over here I'm using big buy go to control panel wait for it all you need to do is if you go over to a single product you need to uh, keep a note of the reference number which is the SKU I have maintained a sheet over here where you can see number of SKU, the reference number, the product name which are shortlisted and uh, these products I need to import into my Shopify store. So just note the product number, the price and uh, the item descriptions. Uh, over here, I'm on my portal right now so go over to your multi-channel for importing products from your, uh, from your uh, dropshipper to your Shopify store and go all the way to software e-commerce and uh, under the Shopify uh, you can see that my store is my store name is uh, over here that means that it is active so click on this cog wheel under the action okay so here you need to uh, we have to process all the way to the publications for all for the items for the selected items which you need to import to your Shopify store so don't uh, change anything over here click continue as it is these are the default settings language setting is English click continue again okay so over here instead of uh, selecting from the categories go all the way over here to reference and as I mentioned that you need to copy like for example I need to uh, I need to import this item body massage mat kit so just copy the reference number add this over here click add and it says if it says invalid reference number try the other one This one is added 941. So we have added 941. Sometime, uh, if 
the number is invalid that means that it is out of stock or that has been updated by the portal itself from uh, by drop shippers so give it a second try uh, so just now we are importing another product which is tooth polisher click add over here it is these are the previously imported products and uh, just leave it on it make a display below the description everything is fine make sure that this show discount price title is on and uh, to continue click recalculate product above so this appears when you have uh, certain items over here which are already imported and you are adding one more item to the list so you need to recalculate so all the way go above click recalculate here and if you go down you can click continue now leave all as it is this is uh, for the courier or shipping continue margin percentage click on margin percentage if it is uh, still on green that's fine click all the way down again and click continue save and publish okay so congratulations there is only one step left for, for your publication process so we all we need to do is click publish set publish button to publish it and this is under the public under the publication process now so before uh, after publishing just keep a note of it that it will take 24 to 72 hours for the item to appear on your uh, Shopify store how you can check it you can go all the way to your store and click like I said click on sort and click create newly first items uh, it will be by default on A to Z so what you need to do is click on sort again and create it new first so the items which are newly imported will appear over here like I said the body massage well, it's already over here it's been imported sometimes it takes 70 to 24 hours depend upon uh, the working hours and so, so all you need to do is click here and uh, go to more actions and make it draft set as draft so now the item is a draft you can change make it changes make your own price uh, and whatever changes you want to make then make it after so it will appear on your shopify store so this was a short video of how to import uh, from big buy this especially from big buy to shopify uh, using the pl custom plugins which i showed you in the beginning uh, if you like the video click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye bye